that's not good. Go take a look at it. it shouldn't be too difficult to fix up. Ah, uh, something wrong? There are three things we need to do. Reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. I've heard about you, but here you are. Looks like everything is good to go on both your end and mine.
because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down troublemakers. Never seen a ship like yours before. I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. Well, well. It would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Thank you again for all you've done. We don't yet know, but we did receive a star map from the Paradiso engineers. I suppose we'll just chart a course for other suitable habitable worlds until we find one that matches the quality of Paradiso, uh, Purima 2 here. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck, but you went above and beyond. I'll make sure people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. I don't know if we can ever fully repay you. Thank you again. We've got strict rules around here. Live my entire life in a constant. I'm not sure how I Hey. Boy, am I glad you weren't some sort of alien. people out there we need to be more prepared for trouble the constant is a peaceful ship don't change that
trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. Brew counted for. We are ready to depart. Glad to see you're back in one piece. picked up something you might be interested in.
two of us make quite the pair, eh? My day just got a whole lot brighter. Hurry back. When 
I discovered the plant, I did consider handing over what I'd found, but we were at war. And I couldn't risk information that dangerous falling into the wrong hands. So I ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport, fixing two problems at once, halting the spread of the city's terramorph outbreak, and sealing away knowledge of the plant's potential. Running 
jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard. With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. <laughs> Something befitting the dedication to the colonies you two have shown. While of course they can't give you a command, responsibility like that has to be earned. The cabinet does have access to considerable resources. I expect you'll be quite pleased with the result, and none of it would have happened without my intervention. I'm simply looking for you to acknowledge the truth. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the Terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaza's role in the attacks to the Cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the Cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlaze and Orlaze alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. Hunting down criminals, and other threats to the United Colonies. I expect they'll give me a bit more free reigns once this is all over. You would help me, like you did with Orlais. Track them down, and keep them from doing harm to the United Colonies. Impossible, though, if the Cabinet learns I'm the one responsible for the attacks. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The Microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the Cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Any leads on who might have committed the attacks? Orlais? Reginald Orlais? He did this? I didn't think he was still alive. You're sure it was him? Oh yeah. Both worked for UC Defense Research way back when. Different departments, but everyone knew Orlais. Had a mean eye for weapons tech. And a meaner temper. 
Wasn't exactly a surprise when he fled instead of standing trial after the colony war. But finding out he's taken up mass murder in the years since, that is a shock. You're sure about this? That's some impressive work. So then give us the rundown. Where's Orlais now? Were you able to bring him in? I'm sorry to hear that. Those sorts of missions are always tough. Any idea why he might have done it? Or what he was doing with the plant? Another madman justifying butchery. Well, at least he won't be able to hurt anybody else now. Might be the best we could ask for, given the circumstances. So I guess there's nothing else to do but get this all in front of the cabinet. Unless there were other things we needed to discuss. This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Asilis aren't hostile to humans, but they are mega-fauna. If someone decides to pick a fight with one, it could get ugly. But they've already been spread far and wide once before when the UC was raising them as livestock, so the risk of introducing them to new worlds is minimal. Using them to clean up the terramorphs and leeches, though, it's not going to be nearly as expedient as the microbe would be. Given what we know now about the Lazarus plant, the speed of the job does matter. But going with the Asilis, we're at least dealing with known risks. They are. Microbe needed minimal adjustment to account for heat leech anatomy. And the Asilis seem like they're even better at tracking leeches than morphs. Hell of a sight to watch, though, when they catch them. Like an open airlock guzzling angry spaghetti. <laughs> Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So, I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet wait, see if they have a preference. Then here we go. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under I have better circumstances. For you. But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? This report comes from a particularly confidential source both you and I are familiar with, yes. Among the reasons its findings are so alarming. Now, is it true? Was the attack on New Atlantis planned? My God. An attack? Using terror morphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. 
So then is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orles commit these attacks, Captain? That appears to be the case, ma'am. The Captain tracked that information down just after our trip to Londinian. Reginald Orles? Wasn't there a report he'd been killed recently? Body was found floating around Etheria. Report mentioned you were sent to try and bring him in, Captain. I guess that didn't go according to plan. Ah, uh, yes. I was told about your mission, and who ordered it. Did you two suspect at the time Orlais might have been involved in the attacks? Hmm. Well, it appears you are ahead of the curve. This report contains definitive evidence Orlais triggered the attacks via this Lazarus plant the Captain and Major Sanan uncovered. Simply heroin. Indeed. Though it would have been preferable for him to have finally faced the UC's justice, it seems both of you are to be commended for ensuring he was dealt with before he could strike again. You have our thanks. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives, but it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Well, luckily the natural hostility of Londinian makes keeping out trespassers relatively easy. But we'll ensure its growth is contained, that access to the plant is only permitted via highly regulated clearances, and that our true presence on Londinian is increased. Tell the Freestar Collective. Wow. So they have another tool to utilize against us? I'm in agreement. I fail to see the value here. Indeed. Open relations at this point would be critical towards maintaining peace. Oh, that is an interesting idea. A grand gesture to further display this cabinet doesn't think like those of the past. The observers on Mars have proven such a gesture can bear fruit. So, you want us to make nice with the Collective by sharing our state secrets? No. I want us to display plainly the UC's actual intentions, that the plant will never be used as a weapon again. Hmm. Huh. That does sound worthwhile, Chief Kalkarni. Very well. We'll get the Collective involved in the management. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech, presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves. But the captain has yet to weigh in. I see. 
Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. I'm in full agreement. No need be delving into unpredictable sciences. Here's hoping they'll be kept on a short leash. That, madam, is most certainly the plan. Order, please. And Major Sinan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the Cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class I citizens to our ranks. Class I? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. It's a status reserved only for those who've dedicated their lives to the United Colonies, or done great things for its cause. Class Ones enjoy an ample credit disbursement, an additional reduction on the cost of colonial goods. And I'm told the penthouse is rather impressive. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sinan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts, spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned.
that your ship that landed not too long ago? I'm here for you, my love. Sure, I'm right behind you. Things could have ended badly, but not for you. Maybe we should stop for a moment at the memorial. You know, to pay our respects. It's a buyer's market right now. Good time to make a move. Well, well, if it isn't the United Colony's newest Class 1 citizen. You've made quite a name for yourself in New Atlantis. In fact, the higher-ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. It's a premium penthouse at the top of Mercury Tower. Best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. What do you say? It'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner. Great! You're in for a real treat. It's one of my favorite apartments in the city. Okay, you're all set. Your new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. You'll love the place. It has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. Now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. I'm always ready to make a deal.
up there, huh? Retro's firing. 